This video introduces the activation and use method of the C10,000 Intelligent Battery Charger. The C10,000 Intelligent Battery Charger can be connected to an intelligent flight battery for charging and is compatible with multiple battery models. The charger provides the auto-check function. You can preliminarily diagnose any exceptions on the charger by checking the status indicator. In addition, you can use a USB-C cable to connect the charger to a remote controller and open the DJI Agra's app to check detailed information about the exceptions. Here, we go over the names and functions of each component of the charger. This is the battery charging cable, which connects to the battery for charging. This is the status LED, showing the working status of the charger. This is the dustproof cover. There is a cooling fan inside to remove the heat generated by the charger during charging. Here is the handle for easy carrying. These two ports are the main and auxiliary power input ports, respectively. When a single AC cable is used, it must be plugged into the main power input port. The charger will not work if the cable is connected to the auxiliary port only. This is the cable storage cover, which must be secured during transportation. The two cables delivered with the device are for fast charging, and here are the conversion cable and AC cable, which need to be used together. The intelligent charger must be activated before first use. In detail, connect the remote controller to the network, use a USB-C cable to connect the USB-C port on the charger and the USB-A port on the remote controller, and go to device management, charging device on the DJI Agra's app for activation. The C10,000 Intelligent Charger supports both fast and slow charging. Different power cables are required to connect to qualified power supplies when using different charging methods. Fast Charging Method 1 – Use two fast charging cables to connect the charger to a 220-volt generator with single-phase power output and a rated power of 12 kilowatts or above. Fast Charging Method 2 – Use two fast charging cables to connect the charger to a three-phase five-wire power supply with a rated power of 18 kilowatts. If you use a third-party generator by following fast charging method one, make sure to connect both live wires to the same live terminal. The operations of both fast charging methods are similar. Here, we take fast charging method two as an example to demonstrate the specific charging process Turn off the air circuit breaker of the three-phase power supply, remove the safety pins from the fast charging cables, connect the two fast charging cables to the charger, and reinsert the safety pins. Verify that the safety pins are securely inserted. Connect the two fast charging cables to the three-phase power supply. Connect the live wires, labeled L, neutral wires, labeled N, and protective earth wires, labeled PE, of the two fast charging cables, respectively, to the live, neutral, and PE terminals of the three-phase power supply. Make sure to connect the two live wires to different live terminals. Connect the charger to the battery. To charge an intelligent flight battery, connect the battery charging cable of the C10,000 intelligent battery charger to the air-cooled heatsink, then place the battery into the air-cooled heatsink. The charger starts to charge the battery. During the charging process, the four LED lights on the battery blink in sequence. Remove the battery when the four LEDs turn solid or off, and put another battery inside the air-cooled heat sink to charge. When charging is finished, turn off the air circuit breaker of the three-phase power supply before disconnecting the fast charging cables from the charger. Only qualified electricians wearing insulated gloves are allowed to connect or disconnect the fast charging cables. Indoor fast charging is prohibited. Also, note that the charger requires an input current exceeding 16 amp for each cables and do not connect the fast charging cables to 16 amp or 10 amp power outlets. Here, we demonstrate the slow charging method. Remove the safety pins from the adapter and connect the adapter cable to the main power input port of the charger. Then, reinsert the safety pins and gently push the adapter to check whether it is in place. Connect the slow charging cable to the adapter, and then connect the cable to a 16 amp AC power outlet. Use the same method demonstrated in the fast charging part to connect the charger to the battery. When charging is finished, disconnect the power cable from the power outlet and then disconnect the power cable from the charger.